What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 273 to 276. If you know what happened last episode or how it ended, you know exactly, exactly how insanely hype I am. I can't, words cannot even compare to the One Piece lore and stuff that I'm about to get into, but that's enough words that need to be said. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Please subscribe. It really does help me with that algorithm. Check out the Patreon, full uncut versions, early access, all that jazz. Check out the social medias. You guys are amazing. Let's not waste any more time. One Piece, 273, 276. Let's do it. All right, here we go. We haven't really even seen Baskerville fight at all. Triple head, triple sword. Oh, we've made it. Is Zoro... Oh. I've always got a vortex of bodies. <laughs> Berberus, now Cerberus. Okay, back on the street. Shout out Yokozuna. Okay. Shout out Frankie fam. Huge shout out Yokozuna. I'm a little afraid of Baskerville. He seems like he should be at least somewhat strong. Every single time, I think I can't be impressed with Zoro more. He pulls out the horn bull or the whatever the f that was. That was so clean. How many moves does this guy have up his sleeves? I, look at their face. That's me. <laughs> this man Sanji is hilarious. <laughs> Where the hell is Zoro going? What do you mean, what? She just said to go up the stairs. She literally just said that, Zoro. Zoro, we're going that way. <laughs> Thank you, Chopper. <laughs> Talk your shit. He needs it. <laughs> Make sure it works on Sanji, too. Yeah, now they're like, mm, is this going to work? I don't know. Okay. For them to come to an agreement is kind of crazy. I was saying, Baskerville seems kind of strong. Okay. This is our 1v1 fight. Shout out Zoro. Oh, shout out Zombie. Okay. Berberus. I respect him. All right. Shout out Zora. Let's go. Please give me lore. Please explain it. That's what I'm curious about. What is necessarily he doing to his body? This is a wake-up call for him. He's like, this was the training I truly needed. This is one of my favorite songs of this arc. He, he, it makes sense if you have context, Bluno. It's all good. <laughs> I'm looking back and he's gone. What the? How is he doing this? Oh my god. 
He is whooping Bluno's ass. This hit him with the rifle, the spear, the missile, the pistol, jet pistol. I won't lie, this animation is snapping too. Bro, I got goosebumps right now. Is he shaving? Kumabuno <laughs> said, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> gotta go! That is so funny. Oh, I actually get to see him in this dimension? He can see the outside from still inside his door. Oh, I love this. Okay, Bluno. Whatever you say, buddy. I don't think this is going to work out the way you think. Is that how they're moving that fast? This man is an observant. Hit him with a bazooka. The fact that he actually somewhat tanked that is crazy. I don't think... Wow, that iron body sure is something. Does gear only have a limit of how long he can use it? Hey, I'm here. I'm here to walk. Or what? Z oh. First off, first off, first off. That fight was well worth it. The hype, the gear, everything. That was insane. Does he already have gear three? What is he talking about? I need to know the details on my man's power. I need to know his upgrades. I need to know everything. That man, Bluno. Oh my God. Understandable. We need some more physical training to keep. Ooh, <laughs> I can see the potential. I can see the little seedlings. That's why I love Oda, because he knew he could wait this long before dropping stuff like this. He knew. He's like, I'll let it breathe. People are going to be invested in the characters. Everything. This is way too gas. Oi, Momonkashi with Soga King on the shoulders. Come on. Having giants on our side, too. Bro, this arc is fantastic. I love the little visuals we get everyone at their locations. Mozu and Kiwi trying to bring down the drawbridge. Come on. Whether it's like Sodom, Gomorrah, Mozu, Kiwi, Yokozuna, the Galley Law, everyone's willing to sacrifice, put themselves on the line to make sure everyone can keep going forward. But I respect them. But I fuck with them. Got two more jury members. Did Zoro get lost again? I'm so butthurt. I'm so butthurt. We can't gather Bluno. No. And I, I still want to see Khalifa and Kaku's power. <laughs> I love Chimney. She, I don't know how she's not scared like ever. <laughs> yes, they do. The, the worldly repercussions that come from this are going to be if I was hyped after like Alabasta or Skypea this is going to be different just her saying that and that's Kokoro she knew some people as we bro I'm literally tearing up she's got me so geeky right now come on I cannot believe we made it this far. That episode went by like 30 seconds, I swear. The 
Imagine Spandam surprise when a member of CP9 gets beaten. Especially because Spandam has a lower power level than a goddamn average Marine. Exhausted? You're hungry? Makes sense. Get some, get some food, get some meat. Oh, he does have the meat in his pockets. I saw him load those in earlier. That's why this guy's a smart cookie. You never know when he needs some pocket meat. Not only was he beaten, but I think Luffy could have gone way further and beaten him. Crying like a little bitch. I can't, it's going to be so cathartic when we mm, knock span him out. So, mm. I can't wait for Frankie to see his fam is there as well. I'm agreeing with Frankie. You're speaking facts, buddy. Even though I still think her PTSD is not going to allow her. I think we're going to get her flashback one of these episodes and just know I'm ready for it. Is she going to scream back? Is she going to let us know in some way that she hears us? What the hell? That boy's thick. I know that's not true, but... From Spandam's point of view, I could see how he would think that's a real thing. Because he's going to, like, die anyway. Three kilometers? He's obviously capping. But I, I like this play. An idiotic spandom. He's gonna launch her? Talk about an ass blaster. Luffy very well can see that. I hope he saw Frankie and Robin. He's still distraught. Frozen. Which I get. Mmm, damn. Running low on energy, on fuel. Please, Robin, respond to him. Shout out, Frankie, stalling a little bit. Come on. See, now this is what I'm curious about, because she'll say this out loud, but then when she's when when we're in her thoughts, she'll think about how much she loves us and appreciates us, you know. Ooh, he's released. Oh wow, this is the first time we've had a direct, like, actual, be able to have a conversation fully without CP9 being in the room fucking with us. I mean, that's a callback to like Alabasta and. Her wanting to die there as well. Luffy forcibly kept her alive against her will. I need to know more. I need to know that backstory. I love Robin too much. Kaku and Jabra. Fuck. Fuck. And uh, Fukuro. I need another 1v1. We can't do a 5v1, though. Let alone a 6v1. We need 1v1. Come on. Are you going to be able to deal with another jury member, though? Damn. Two of them? These guys think they're intimidating. Do you know Yokozuna? Come on. And we got two more against um oh. shout out you beautiful wow that's good defense from them because last time sanji was able to easily take out one but two of them might be a little more difficult authoritative fair no authoritative yes fairly no 
元海賊の死刑囚でありお前たちを道連れにと望むものではあるがな kind of sick twisted shit is that Yes, but they'll be treated fairly. Like, what the hell? Even Yokozuna can't stop it. Several. Oh, he's a tank. Now, I'm trying to think what can we have on our team that will change the tide back in our favor? Shout out to the show answering me within two seconds. The ultimate gate defenders. I love how their job was defending the original gate. Now they're defending our gate. Yeah, please, Soga King. We need your help. Imagine it's like Arlong Park and Usopp gets another 1v1 and wins. I'd love it. Getting hype from two giants is, is some gas. They gassed him up. If Zoro... Nah, like, I love this boy to death. Good. How about you think... There we go. Just hit him with the casual dragon twister. What the... He's just confused. What are you talking about? As the dragon twister comes flying up with Nami Chopper and Zoro. Beautiful timing. Ooh. <laughs> I thought it would have been the opposite, but hey, shout out Nami. Okay, Luffy, that seems like a fair compromise to me. So win win. Get you out of here if you still want to die? Okay. I just want to see now someone else witness Luffy go gear two and how strong he is. All we're missing is Soga King and Sanji. That's quite the kick. Beautiful landing. 10 out of 10. He said I'm first to arrive. You're last, bud. Why does he picture his hair like that, Moss Head? That's so funny. <laughs> they just throw Usopp up here? Again, huge shout out Oimo and Kashi. I hope you guys reunite with Dorian Bragi one day. You guys are legends. I'm way too hyped right now. Like Luffy said, you still want to die after that? That's up to you, girly. Is that going to be the end of this episode? No? I'm begging you. <laughs> they will literally go to the ends of the... Of, literally versus the entire world. Them versus the world for you, girly. You've never meant that much to a... I can't... I haven't had a flashback. Come on. It's got to hit you deep in your heart. Got a tug on a couple of hard strings. Oh, she's crying. Oh, that's just getting me emotional. I never see Robin cry. I I don't know how I'm going to feel after the show after a thousand episodes. Bro. I'm going to be so invested into these characters. It's not even funny. Imagine someone watching this from 99 all the way till now. Like, it makes sense why One Piece is like the show, you know? That boy Oda. I don't know how he does it. This arc just gets me feeling fucking every which way. The music. I mean, look at this. Look at this shot. Look at that shot. <laughs> that is way too gangster. Come on. Look at these faces that just love and care about you. God damn it. These episodes are too good. All right, on to the next episode. This is 275? 
I am very curious how they open those gates of justice. I want to see the other side. I want to go to Impel Down. That I'm very nervous about. That's crazy that they actually officially wipe off names on maps. I am so... Ooh, I've been waiting for over 100 episodes for this backstory. I'm not joking. I don't? But if I'm honest with you, I kind of do want you to push it. I just want to see more Marines. I love fighting them. Ooh. It's five vice admirals, right? Ten battleships. Like... Damn, far. You can't see humans on a map. You just see a name. You just see a target. You just see a. Shout out, Robin. Which your goal as the government should be protecting and maintaining the peace and the people. And whereas I get piracy is against that. Oh! We're here, gentlemen. 20 years ago, Ohara, the. I was just about to say that's a juicy looking tomato. Never mind. Fuck these kids. She's had her devil fruit since she was this young. I mean, it makes sense, but. And obviously, for having powers that are outside the norm, she gets bullied. She's reading, though, studying. I respect that. Making friends with nature. Feel bad. Even though I really like the architecture of this place. I love the different styles of buildings and designs on every island. They're all vastly different. She sees a child enjoying their parental activities and she's jealous. It makes sense. Aunt Roji. What happened to Mama? What happened to Mom and Dad? To Robin. Today is... I mean, that's kind of horrible. It's a little less rude, but I'm get, it gives me like Harry Potter and the Dursley vibes. Like they let her stay there, but they truly don't care for her at all. Home rice. I've actually always wanted to have home rice in Japan. That like brown sauce I always put on it, you know. Oh, yeah. Cinderella is a really good analogy. Everyone to your positions. Robin came back to return a book. Is it her birthday as well? Or congratulations on what? I'm just glad she has some people supporting her. Damn, she's smart. I would congratulate her too. Congrats. That's insanely huge. At least she has people that care about her. Professor Clover, shout out him. I like his design. I love this song when they play it. It's like a, it's a, it's like the Library of Alexandria. And this is what's lost in the Buster Call. Oh my God, that's horrible. This has to be reminiscent of the library. Isn't it called the Library of Alexandria? Something like that, where it was like the world's greatest library was burned down. Yeah, it goes well above and beyond research. It's an actual criminal act. Yeah, 
it it is a very very serious situation so i get you know the blank century is what it's called that's insane for a title 800 years ago it became against the law that's big swearing on this tree of knowledge Olivia. Wow, she has a wanted poster too. She looks just like Robin, except with white hair. Olivia. It's not every day a giant just washes up ashore of your island. Wonder if she's okay too. Don't let me in with those guys from Elbaf. Elbaf is like a warrior tribe, right? There are peaceful giants? Interesting. I did not know that at all. He's trying to be low key. I don't think she has a lot of people to tell, besides the people at the library. She's upset with them right now. Whoa. A little judgmental. She's hilarious. I do like how the giants have very distinguishable laughs. This is very different from Dory's and Bragi's. I get told that sometimes too. Saul? Jaguar D. Saul. Monkey D. Luffy? D? Now, I'm not going to immediately say he's Luffy's fucking great uncle or something, but everyone in my family has D. We know Gold D. Roger, Marshall D. Teach, Portgus D. Ace, Monkey D. Luffy, Saul D. Jaguar. It was a Jaguar D. Saul, but like... Huh. I'm very curious. Three days after the giant drifted ashore. Imagine how much food you would need to be able to feed a giant. That's like a whole loaf of bread. Yeah, you ate some fish. She has neither, sadly. It's a rough life. It's a rough life. You'd be shocked at the things you see out there. I've always been a huge fan of Robin's power. The floors, all show floors, train to floors, like hands are very handy. <laughs> they say the longer you laugh, the longer you live. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Whoever's the voice actress for Young Robin's Loki killing it. Spandine? For a second, it looked like Crocodile, but it wasn't. Who are these guys? Spandine. The following day, four days after Saul came up on shore, Jaguar D. Saul. Who in the hell is this? Is that Olvia? I just see the white hair. That looks like an old Robin. That is Olvia. Okay. All right. No one seen any marines on it. It's because Olvia took a marine ship and went here. Oh, they would be nervous. Oh, yeah. 
You said what? I've never heard of a Pawnee lift. Uh, what is that? Wag? Uh -huh, that's kind of cool. An excuse to stay a little bit longer, be friends. She loves her little giant buddy. Mm. Something tells me it's not going to end up like that. He's insanely smart. The blank century. Ooh, give me more info. Give me more info. Mm, 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 mm. I'm way too curious. Wow, he's pretty informed. I know he's a Grand Line traveler, but he's pretty informed himself. Even, even Saul is saying this. Professor Clover, everyone. Don't. Because Saul, when he first landed, he mentioned something about a woman, right? Do you know Robin's mom? Olvia Nico? Nico Robin? Nico Olvia? I had no idea they knew each other. Yeah, well, this is getting serious all of a sudden. They already know or what? Why are they here to eliminate? I mean, she might be able to get along like she might be able to pass by not being a scholar because she's so young, you know? Wow, that has to be Robin's voice actress. It's crazy how similar they are. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I mean, shout out Clover for being understandable and the rest of them. They both feel guilty and bad. Theoretically, it sucks to say I would gather as many books as you can. They're willing to go down with the knowledge. Your husband's unfinished business. See, now we got more world building I need to know. Mm. That is sad. Shout out Professor Clover. That's what I'm saying. They look insanely alike. I get that from a parent's POV when you're doing very illegal activities, you know. I got the blickies behind the books. She's willing to put her life on the line to say, hey, you guys, we're not acquainted. I'm not a scholar this, that, and the third, you know, like, okay, okay. This is 20 years in the past. So these guys is age plus 20. Are they people we know? Span 9 is the only name I heard. I don't recognize them. I'm curious. No even interaction. It's crazy. He feels so bad. I know. Vice Admiral Kuzan. Is his last name Kuzan Aokiji? 
He looks like a gangster young. The little fucking Gojo shades? Ooh, I see Aokiji. I get fucking souped. Are they already here? There's no way. Oh, no. Anyone who's not a scholar has a chance. If you're a normal civilian, you have a chance to evacuate and not be blown up in this bus recall. But if you're a scholar, tree of knowledge, Ohara, about to be Obaya. Wait, it, Span 9? Is his, his, son, his son's not Spandum, bro. I'll be heated if his son is Spandum. That would make so much sense, but and they sound alike and they act alike. I'm butthurt. See, now, low-key, though, them doing that makes me want to research the blank century even more. Why does everyone in backstory, why do their moms always got to get hoed? Nami and Robin, you know? Shout out Bellamere. Is uh, Saul gonna get out of here? Is he gonna leave? Buster call is upon us. This is so sad. You do just need to go. I wonder who the actual ringleader would be considered. Because I don't know who started this endeavor, but I would assume Clover. They're all on the same team, though. You do gotta go, Robin. I know you want to stay. It's your mom, it's your peeps, but you have to go. Yeah, they cannot let it know, be known that she's her daughter. Aww. You've grown so much. That is sad, man. As a mom's like, I don't, I assume her. That's why they blew up that. The basement was hidden. They found it. This is so ass. I feel so bad. And now that the basement with the evidence has been confirmed, they get the green light to. Oh no. I want to see more of the five elders as well. Oh, might be able to talk some sense into him. I would very much like to know what he's saying, but I, I gotta have Robin be safe, you know? Yeah. I wonder if Saul is going to be one of the reasons why Robin gets away. I wonder if Saul... Oh, I'm very curious and nervous what's going to happen. Oh, no. Those were absolutely fantastic episodes. I am utterly so glad about that first episode with Gear 2. It exceeded my expectations and more. Well, that was just Gear 2. Oh, my Lord. The amount of potential and I can... Like, people see that I have 700 episodes left, and they're like, that seems so... I'm so happy. I wish I had 7,000 more episodes left. Overall, fantastic episodes. I'm loving that we're finally getting Robin's story. It is as tragic as I'm thinking. I feel so bad for Clover, Olvia, Saul, the rest of them. Overall, fantastic episodes. I 
cannot wait for the rest of cp9 versus our the straw hats our squad this is incredible this arc is immaculate i am loving it and it's i'm pretty sure i got another like 20 or 30 episodes of the arc left so i'm loving it i cannot wait if you guys enjoyed please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell check out that patreon early access full uncut versions i appreciate y'all don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out